Well, if it wasn't for Huey P. Long uh, University Medical Center, I certainly wouldn't be alive today. I had a terrible accident on a bicycle, crushed my face, have titanium wrapped all around my jaw, um, my eye socket, socket is titanium. Of course, I didn't have insurance, and I wasn't 65 yet, so I was in a, a really big dilemma. It was my only choice. And they did five surgeries in six months, or six surgeries in five months. It gets kind of blurry. But without them, I wouldn't be here. Uh, Dr. Phillips was head of the um, maxillofacial department. He was 82 years old and did surgeries at 82. I credit him with putting me back together as much as you can be put back together. Unfortunately, the last time I went in for the final little surgery, which was a clean-up job to get um, infection and inflammation out, I was told that unless I was dying, they couldn't operate on me because our governor, Mr. Jindal, had given him a direct order that you have to be in danger of dying to have anything done. So over the course of four years, I was in the hospital six or seven times with infection. And a year ago, a nice doctor by the name of Dr. Godet, who had never done maxillofacial surgery, told me he'd give it a shot. And when he finished the surgery, I had been in pain for five years, four or five years. I w opened up my eyes and there he was in uh, ICU and he says, how do you feel? I said, I don't have any pain. He says, you mean from the surgery? I said, no, I don't have any pain. But it's a shame that it costs so much to the taxpayer and to myself to have to continually go back because the governor decided I wasn't worthy of the final 30-minute surgery. So that position for me is indefensible. Four years of pain, six or seven out of ten, every day. Never slept a full night. Always in pain. And I don't like pain medication, so I just dealt with the pain. Just kept getting infected. Then they'd have to give me vancomycin, and every three hours after they gave it to me, they'd have to take blood to see if my kidneys were shutting down. Because vancomycin can kill you just as easily as the infection. I was fortunate. I'm a one-man show. I, I have no employees. If I'm not here, I'm shut down, and I lose money, and I lose clients. I mean, people call and you're not here. They don't know you're in the hospital. I said, I need a haircut. My color needs to be done today or tomorrow. And you're not here for a week. So they go somewhere else. So it's a continuation of client building. Every time I'd go in the hospital, I'd lose clients. And who knows what my uh, kidneys look like now after seven weeks in the hospital, one week each time, taking vancomycin. If they have to, give, have, have to draw blood three hours after they give it to you, it's not a good sign. Right. So, damaged goods, mm -hmm. but fortunate to be here. We're going to let 400, 500,000 people die because they don't have any kind of health insurance. And I lay that on the steps of the governor's mansion because truly he has missed the point. And so as the citizens of this state, we just keep tolerating more and more abuse like it's going to go away. It's not going to go away. When your friends are dying and they take them out in bags and you're there, your neighbors, then you'll see just how desperate things are.